Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Thank you for being here. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw, though I'm on a little bit of a sabbatical for a few weeks, and I've asked one of my friends to fill in for the monthly horoscopes this month. I hope that you will welcome them. Of course, superstar horoscopes were pre-recorded, and you can go to NadiaShawSuperstars.com for as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate. You will have access to all signs each and every week. Extended horoscopes are available there. And of course, we have some incredible events coming up at Synchronicity University. Programs happening right now, but also choose your tuition rate as low as just $5 a class for classes that are coming up and starting in November. I hope that you'll join us. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Hello, superstars, fabulous friends and fans of my dear friend Nadia Shah. I am Yuridia Robles, and I am here to speak to you about what's in store this month for cancer in September. Let's begin. Dear Cancer, this month the sun will highlight your communications area, the ones that you have with your siblings, your cousins, and your neighbors, also with little children. Virgo Sun brings to you order and cleanliness and service to these people that I am referring to. This year, the sun will be accompanied by Mercury. Mercury at the beginning of September is already in Libra, but by the 9th of September, it will start its retrograde movement and it will go back to Virgo. Not the whole sign, but quite a few degrees. And with that, we will feel much more this communication need towards a reviewing point of view, towards finding out what was left behind, what is the truth about these relationships. It's in a harmonious conversation with your son sign, with cancer. It wouldn't be difficult as long as you are willing to face the truth. The truth of what happened without feelings, without overlay of an emotion. This retrogradation will make us then be much more picky, much more careful about what we say or think. But it also has to be said that at the beginning of the month, Mars and the Sun were in a difficult conversation. Mars entered last August in the sign of Gemini and it will stay there for an extended period, to be precise, seven months. And having Mars in Gemini is really a hard conversation for you because Mars in Gemini is also ruled by Mercury, but it, it is Mars. So the mental energy and the physical energy will be needing a lot of information, a lot of input, and it could bring anger issues to everybody and to you especially. You are sometimes quick or prone to anger, to sudden bursts of anger, mainly because you get disappointed of what you were expecting. But these seven months, we are all going to has a course on handling anger. We will have to be, as soon as possible, mature about it. Because Mars will bring, with its retrogradation movement, situations that have angered us in the past. So we will have to face them again, to learn from them, or to extract the lesson from the past and bring it to the present. So this is a difficult transit for you, in the sense that it will demand your cooperation. You will not feel at ease unless you face these issues. On the 10th of September, we will have the full moon in Pisces. The sun will be in Virgo. And as I was saying, you will handle with ease the facts and figures that Virgo brings to us. And also the moon in Pisces will be in harmonious conversations with you since it will be about feelings and that's the element of water and you can receive that perfectly well. As long as Mercury is the master or the director of the planetary orchestra, 
because it rules itself in Virgo, the sun in Virgo. Venus in Virgo, which will be also there, and Mars in Gemini, ruled by Mercury, and Jupiter as well, because Jupiter is in Aries, ruled by Mars, and Mars ruled by Mercury. So all the planets are ruled at this time by Mercury. So what we think is most important. For you, the challenge is to distinguish very clearly between thoughts and feelings. Sometimes for you, both are together and it's your life challenge to distinguish both. And for this time, it is much more so. By the 16th, 17th and 18th, we will have a harmonious trine between Mercury and Uranus. This will be a very, these days will be very important because we could use this energy to open the doors to something new, maybe a new perspective, a surprise, a breakthrough in communications, and that will be most welcome since we will be very engaged on whatever we are thinking about. On the 22nd, we will have the inferior conjunction between Mercury and the Sun. This is a very important day because we could feel the inner truth. We could even go deeper to find out what we really think, what we need to investigate, what we need to see. Then on the 23rd, the balsamic moon will be together with Mercury, again sending us or asking us to go even deeper for five days, since two and a half days will be the balsamic phase and two and a half days will be the new moon. We will have to wait a little bit more, although the new moon is on the 25th of the month in Libra, opposite Jupiter in Aries, asking us to be or to think about our relationships. They have to be polite, they have to be elegant, they have to be refined. So we can find this energy balance, what Mercury and Mars are demanding of us. The new moon aims to balance the energy and ask us to lower the tone a little bit more. It will be, though, very hard because of what I mentioned of the opposition with Jupiter in Aries, because now we want to grow and expand. And since Mars and Mercury are there in the conversation, we want to do it quickly and mentally, of course, and even physically. So what we have to do is take care of how we move so we don't run into accidents and also of what we think so we don't run into misunderstandings. Nevertheless, the whole month with Mercury in retrogradation, we will have the opportunity to clarify what we heard or what we said in the sense that to, we can ask and understand if the idea was clear to, who, to whom we were talking to or we were listening to. On the 29th, Venus will move into Libra. But this movement of Venus is very important because she is heading towards the conjunction with the Sun and a superior conjunction. So we are building at the same time with her a new ideal, a new aim, a new goal to achieve that inspire us to do greater and greater things. Let's remember that you have the square between Saturn and Uranus from your 8th to the 11th house. It is talking about the values of your spouse, of your business partners, and something new coming from Uranus, asking you to incorporate what is new. You have to be very careful about the the accountants, about what you share with your partner, but also understand that some surprises might come in, especially from your friends, and you have to be prepared to deal with those. The full moon is in your ninth house, and it will highlight 
some artistic points of view. Maybe you could study a little bit of art or find romance in a long trip. As for Jupiter in Aries in your 10th house, you are one of those that want to achieve much more so fast and so quickly that you could be quite impatient. Just be prepared to make a plan because in September, two opposing energies are pulling us. One is to calm down, to think quietly, to be with ourselves. And the other one with Mars is asking us to go out, to communicate, to have relations, to exchange information. So we have to do both. I can assure you that if you want to organize your thoughts and your plans, you can take a few days in September to do it, to prepare very well for it, to organize your time schedule. First of all, your goals, then your steps and then your timetable after that you can start with a clear mind with a focus and with that make use and with that make the best use of the mars transit this mars transit will ask you to move forward you will be sometimes fearful but your mind will not let you be still or at ease or even relax you do have to move, you have to communicate, even if you feel that you are exposing yourself. We all take care of ourselves, but if we don't move from our comfort zone, we never grow. So make the best. So do think that this time you will find the energy. You have the energy if you look at your own self to move and go forward. In matters of the heart, for those who are seeking a love relationship, even if you find that at this time you are not interested because the South Node is there, it is ruled by Mars. And Mars in Gemini, as I already super mentioned, it will stay in your 12th house. So it will make you see what is really the challenge for you to overcome for, to have a sweetheart, a loving relationship, and also a better relationship with your children. Sometimes maybe you will have to face that you prefer to stay within your known zone. It might be comfortable, sometimes it isn't, but it is known. So now Mars will push you from inside to go outside and it will also impact the relationships with your sweethearts and the ones you are looking for. If you are truthful about what scares you about having a sweetheart or having a loving relationship and work on it within yourself, you will find much more comfortable and can be better equipped to build that relationship that you are looking for. As for those in established bond, well, Saturn is, has been there managing those relationships for you for the last two years. It will stay there still for the remainder of the year. So be mature and expect what is new in the sense that you will have to go to new places to have different situations around your significant other and even with your business partners but with your spouses you have to be open to receive the new and be intelligent enough to hold still the structure of your relationship the thing is to have magic to receive the new and hold the relationship together you can do it what i love about this month for you is the fact that you will be able to find people around you to talk about what you fear. Just be mindful not to get mad with them. It's not about what they say. It's about what you have to reveal to yourself. You will have an incredible growth. Enjoy the month.
Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there.